Welcome back to this episode of On Photography. So in a prior episode I showed you guys how to take apart an action cam because one of the ulterior motives I had in that video was disassembling it in order to make this a full spectrum camera. Now a while ago I did a video on near infrared photography and with near infrared photography what you do is remove the hot mirror which typically referred to hot mirror or cut mirror from the camera. Now that's what I'm going to show you in this one because now I've separated the um, sensor housing because in here we have the CMOS sensor for the camera and then here we have the lens and on the back side of the lens and I'm going to try to zoom in but if you can you see that mirroring look and this is why it's called a hot mirror or cut mirror is you have this mirror now one of the things CCDs and CMOS sensors are very sensitive to the higher spectrums you know for example into the 900 nanometers where if you take a look at you know like ultraviolet or the very violets those are down around the 400 nanometer and then you go up to the infrareds in the um, you know 900 to 1000 nanometer range and again these are very sensitive so what they do is they install a hot mirror or cut mirror to limit those th those frequencies of light and keeping it to you know basically about roughly 400 nanometers to oh about seven 760 nanometers but we lose all that spectrum way above and there's some interesting stuff that happens up there and so it, that's why I want to convert this camera into a full spectrum camera now sometimes when you do this conversion what you'll do is you'll re actually replace this hot mirror uh, with another infrared filter of a specific frequency I'm not going to do that I'm going to leave this what typically is referred to as full spectrum in other words with no mirror and then I'm going to use uh, filters on the front of this now the, there's a plus and minus to that site that I want to talk about because as you use different filters that's going to narrow your band in and that's going to change the focal point of your lens I'm not over concerned with that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this piece off so I will have this outer piece exposed for focusing the camera um, so it won't look as pretty but it will be just as functional and it'll allow me to put different filters over this because what I'm going to do is 3d print a housing to go on here to hold a fi uh, filter and then I'll simply turn that to adjust it to get the best uh, focus for whatever frequency filter I'm using so to remove this, what we basically do is, and uh, most of these, again, uh, cameras are the same, is we uh, take an X-Acto knife, and one of the things, it's very small, I have old eyes, so I use one of these magnifiers, and I typically put this on, and then if I get all this to work here, hopefully I'm not going to bump you guys too much, and I'll be able to actually actually see this because looking at this it's glued in on the four corners so what I'm gonna have to do is work up the four corners in order to pop this out so this is gonna take me um, a little bit to achieve okay so the hot mirror is down there so basically what I had to do is I took the exacto knife and I scored each one of these corners and then I worked it under a corner and just popped off so now this is good to go. I'm going to clean this with a lint-free cloth and then reassemble it back on this mount and I'll show you how that goes. So I've cleaned this off with a little lint-free cloth and you want to try to clean up the glue that holds this together and just kind of screw this back back in roughly to where it was before. We'll have to do some adjustment once we get it back in the camera but now what we can do is reassemble this. So anyways I just kind of wanted to show you how you remove a hot mirror from um, an action camera so we did it in this case and uh, the reassembly kind of works just like the disassembly just backwards. So uh, anyways I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this and I will see you guys in another video where we test this out. Cheers. See you there.